Dear students, today let us learn how to measure the numerical aperture of an optical fiber. So here we have an optical fiber. The optical fiber is connected to a LED source because light is the source which transmits through the fiber optical cable with total internal reflection. Now to calculate the numerical aperture, basically let us understand what is numerical aperture. Numerical aperture is nothing but the light collecting capacity of the scale. Okay. So here we have a numerical jig with a scale and I have a scale here, numerical aperture scale, which is a circular one, wherein we have a concentric circles of each 2 mm distance between them. That is, each concentric circle is 4 mm here. This is 2 mm, each division is 2 mm. So, 2 mm plus 2 mm, 4. The first division is 4 mm. Then comes 1, 2, 3, 4, that is 8 mm. So, this way you have concentric circles here. Now, when the light is transmitted to the optical cable, it is made to fall on this numerical scale which is a concentric circle with the concentric circles here. So now how do we calculate numerical aperture? We have a formula for that. Here is the formula. The numerical aperture is calculated as W by root over 4L square plus W square where L is the length and W is the width of the light spot. Now here for different length like for example we have taken here as 4mm. 8 mm, 12 mm, 16 mm, 20 mm and so on. We will find out what is the width of the light spot and calculate the value of numerical aperture with the help of L and W. So how do we do that is, we place this numerical aperture scale at different distances on the numerical jig. So first place it at 4 mm and then find out how much, how many circles does the light spot occupy. So this is how we see the light spot occupying on this. So this light spot is calculated it is min. It is calculated as a width occupying the number of divisions on the scale. So this way for different lengths, say for example, I'm placing at 4 mm now. Then move to 8 mm, then 16 mm, then 20 mm, and so on up to 5 to 6 reading will take the values. Now here, there is no uh, hard and fast rule that you have to take only 4 mm. You can actually take it as a 5 mm, 10 mm, 20 mm and so on. But then as you go away from the light spot, you see that the image is not properly seen on the screen. So we only go for a shorter distances so that you can have a clear images and find out how much is the width of the light spot. So now once you calculate them, once you note the values, this is how we calculate the value that is we take the numerical aperture value as w by root over 4 l square plus w square where l is the value 4 for example the first division 4 for 4 mm we have noted that the width of the light spot is 6 mm. So substitute the values here you will get the value of your numerical aperture and so on for all the other values. Once you calculate this, there is a formula for calculating acceptance angle also. That is acceptance angle is nothing but sine inverse of numerical aperture. So using this formula, you can also find the acceptance angle. So this is the procedure of doing the experiment and finding out the numerical aperture. Once you have all the values noted, that is all the numerical aperture values, what you get for different length, take an average of all those and then you will get a final value of your numerical aperture. And similarly for the acceptance angle. So this is how the experiment is done.